It must be raindrops. So many raindrops falling from my eye eyes. Falling from my eyes. Yeah, yeah, okay, those are leaves that have fallen because it's fall. But I'm referring to symbolic, you know, tears right now. You ever listen to a song that's like really emotionally tugging at your heart, just triggering all sorts of thoughts and, and, and mixed emotions? I miss my kids. I miss and love my kids so much. And they're in their early 20s and they're not responding to anything I send them. They're not responding to daddy. <laughs> I'm not dear old daddy anymore. They're in their early 20s. They don't give up about me. And it sucks because I can't help but think about my children. And I just want to hear their voice. I, I want to uh, love them and touch them and hug them and squeeze them and hold them forever and ever. I do. I want to send them money and gifts and I want to be that good dad vibe guy. If they'd let me. But it's just not happening at the moment and it sucks because the longer you wait the more numb you get and like memories fade and it just it's devastating it's devastating to a parent and they, maybe they'll learn someday when their own children become angry and hateful and spiteful and, and and just become estranged to them and then they'll be like where's grandpa grandpa seemed like a cool dude he posted his stuff on TikTok. he's cool he sings rain drops <laughs> Oh, I'm crying. I'm crying. There's like this happy-go-lucky me. There's another song out there by Paul Evans. I can dance, I can laugh when things aren't funny. Happy-go-lucky me. And and it, it's just so ironic because sometimes you just got to put on that front, that false mask. Fake it till you make it, whatever. Just, I don't know, it hurts. It hurts because you do that. It doesn't, um, it doesn't make the pain go away. It doesn't make the memories go away. I, I just long for a relationship with my children again. Now what I do have is a fantastic marriage with a fantastic wife who cooks really good. <laughs> like all of my needs are met, all of them, trust. My wife is fucking epic. <laughs> Let me tell you what we did for Thanksgiving. Well, we actually had like an early Thanksgiving. The, the weekend prior, we went to, uh, well, we had Marie Callender's delivered. You, you know that restaurant? It's really old school. And I actually wouldn't recommend it, except for the cornbread and the cheesecake. That's, that's all I want. Lemon cheesecake, cheese, they call it something else. They call it cream cheese, lemon cream cheese. And then I, I like say, F you with the meringue. I don't want no meringue on my cheesecake topping. I don't want meringue on my cheesecake. Get that through your freaking heads, people. Take that meringue off. It's perfectly fine as a lemon cheesecake, cream cheese, without the meringue. Psh, come on, guys. Anyway. <laughs> so we had that traditional turkey freaking gravy stuffing, whatever. It was okay. But the bomb-ass part was the cornbread and the cheesecake. Now, we ordered that a week prior because they were booked on Thanksgiving. Now, here comes Thanksgiving. What do we do now? What do we do now? We already had our Thanksgiving meal. <laughs> what do we do now on Thanksgiving? I mentioned before my wife can cook. Oh my God. It was the simplest. I mean, it was just like, just, but it's homemade. But she made the most bomb ass tacos. They were lit. They were fire. They were clutch, crutch, fleek. I don't know what to call it. They were so good. It was the goat of all tacos. And it was just simple. Just simple chicken. Simple green sauce. She made her own guacamole. We, we, we just had rice and beans. It was, it was, it was, it was so basic, but my God, it was so flavorful. Then she came through. She always does. Like she works magic in the kitchen. And I'm so amazed all the time. I am just so amazed at how awesome my wife is. And uh, anyway, I thought I'd, thought I'd brag about that. That's right. That's right. So don't have my children, but I've got an awesome wife <laughs> who completes me in every other way. <laughs> so you kind of find a balance, you know, find your yang to your yang, 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 yang. <laughs> you find that, find that. I implore you. <laughs> May all your lost connections reform, regurgitate. No reunite yeah 
may all of your lostness not be lost no more. My God, Ugh, why is it taking my kids so long? Why am I taking so long? I gotta go. It's past five minutes. Much love to you and yours. Hope, hope, hope the best for you. Bye.